Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. In this review, I'm going to review a pair of pants. I don't think I've ever done a review on a pair of pants on the channel, so this is something new for me. So, uh, we'll give it a shot. But I really like these pants. Uh, these are True Spec Expedition pants. I've been wearing them for a while now. I've been washing them a lot, see if they're going to fade. And they've held up fantastic. I think it's a great pair of pants for if you're going to be outdoors or if you're going to wear them on an everyday basis. Uh, I think it's going to hold up well. So let's do a quick review for you. So the pants are made of a ripstock material and they've held up great uh, when I've been working in them and training in them. Uh, and then they also have some flex points here. So everywhere you're bending and moving, you have these flex panels that's going to help the material move uh, with you as you're moving around, squatting down, running, things like that. So we'll just start from the top and work our way down. I think it's the easiest thing to do. Uh, the waistband, you have the flex band, so if you eat a little too much at lunch, uh, these pants are going to flex with you. Uh, I like that for concealed weapons. Sometimes I'm not able to carry my concealed weapon in my waistband, and sometimes I am. So this will flex and move if considering I have my gun or don't have my gun on me. So I like the flex band. And then the uh, belt loops are nice and big enough to get like this blue alpha gear uh, belt uh, through there. Here's a better shot of the flex waistband here. So I wear a 32 pair of pants. They're nice and snug. They fit comfortable here. And then if I need to carry my gun, then I've got plenty of room in here to put my concealed weapon and then secure a belt around it. You've got reinforced pockets here. So if you're carrying a knife or flashlight, it's not going to tear the material. So you have two cargo pockets that run down the front part of the leg. And then you have, they call it a drop-in pouch right here. So a magazine goes in there just fine. Uh, my iPhone, and it's just a little bit big, plus it has the rubberized case on it doesn't fit too well in there so just be aware of that but if you just need to drop a magazine you're going to carry an extra mag in there then that works great there all right so you have two front cargo pockets here you have your drop pouch here we can hold a magazine this pocket over here has a snap that holds it secure then this pocket over here still has a snap but you also have a zipper over here so if you want to uh, keep the items a little bit more secure like I said earlier, overall the pants are made of ripstop material. You do have some flex panels here, and you do have some ventilation pockets here. That way if it gets hot, gets warm, you can open and close the vents. For search and rescue, things like that, I really like that. Even for you guys out the range, you know sometimes in the morning it might be a little chilly, and then by lunchtime it's 90 degrees. Uh, so the fact that you could wear pants to start the morning, and then when it does get hot, humidity gets through the roof, you do have some options to let a little bit of air move into the pants. Down here at the bottom of the pants, you do have adjustable uh, leg straps here that you can make it tighter, smaller, however you want to carry it. And then it also has a boot hook here. Like I said earlier, these pants are going to be great for the range where you're working or where you're hiking. Just outdoor life in general, I think these pants will work well for you. Even as far as EDC, now I know some of you guys don't want to look all tactical. Uh, when you're out and about with your family, stuff like that. But they're comfortable enough to wear on an everyday basis. So I hope this video helps you never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember the right gear and the right training. I don't know if I should start out by just doing like a butt shot, like the Instagram gun bunnies, but since most of you guys are, well, guys, you probably wouldn't appreciate that shot. So.